when can you use real DME, not RNAV, but an actual DME system to identify a fix on an approach chart? To get the answer, we're going to take a look at two different examples. We're going to start in Grand Rapids, Minnesota with the ILS or localizer to runway 34. And if you take a look at the missed approach point for the localizer procedure, you can see that we can use DME to identify that point. And we know that because our DME distance is printed inside of the D icon, 2.4 DME from the Grand Rapids VOR DME. For the opposite case, let's take a look at a VOR approach. This is the VOR Alpha in Middle Peninsula Regional in West Point, Virginia. And when we look at the profile, you can see that our missed approach point does not have a fix associated with it, nor do we have a distance inside of that D icon. Now that missed approach point is 4.8 nautical miles away from the Harkham Vortac. But since there's no D icon with a distance in there, we can't actually use real DME to identify that point. In fact, without RNAV, the only way we could identify that missed approach point for this procedure is through timing. And the FAA has given us a timing table to help us out. And so that's the key. When you're using a real DME radio and you're looking at an approach chart, you can only use that DME distance to identify a fix when the distance is printed inside of that D icon.